rolling hills, tons of shade trees. You got oak, pine. Some magnolia. Some magnolia, sweet gum. sweet gum. You have 20 acres with a huge river right here behind us. You have electricity. You have a well. You have a metal building that has a generator. a generator run off of propane. You have a second metal building. It's a 40 by 40. Let's take a walk, Jamie. Let's take a walk. Right. You can see how quiet the road is here. No one, no one comes by. This is a very quiet little road. Now, there's no fencing here, so I would have to come and do some fencing. And it's just beautiful. There's rolling hills. I love the rolling hills. Well, the grass is clean. There's no weeds in this. There's no briars and stickers or things that they aren't able to digest and eat. So that makes it just outstanding. I love the shade trees. Uh, lots and lots of, of trees. Pond. This would be the spot where we would have our, our pond. And it wouldn't take a whole lot. You can see that the all of the ground slopes to here. Mm -hmm. So depending on how deep you wanted to go. And then what we could do, Jamie, is probably right about where, well, he has it already culverted off yeah, that would be like with the where the area. overflow. Okay, let's walk over and look at the other side. And this goes all the way back to the tree line and then some. I'll take you back uh, to the river, back behind all of this. But as far as cleared acreage, there's, this is a lot of already cleared acreage that would support. Look at just look at all the grass. I mean, right now, obviously, it's fall, so the grass is all. It's winter, babe. It is winter, isn't it? All the grass has died back. But this would be the the roaming, the grounds that Tex and family would graze and call home. He parked his travel trailer inside of here. And made a small kitchenette and i'll show you all of that in a in a future video but i'm just trying to give you an idea of what everything looks like this is the so this is the other half of the property you can see over there where we already walked along there's the wells and everything else this is a nice pretty hill here and everyone's just dying to go see the river, Jamie, aren't because they? it's fantastic. Because I keep talking about it and I haven't no. showed you yet. I'm trying to make people hang on. That's part of the, my gimmicks, Jamie. Make them hold on. <laughs> now, the trail that we're walking on is back behind all of the cleared property. And this is a spot that we would never let our animals have access to. Uh, I don't really know if there's like a danger involved, but I don't think we need our animals it's up alongside the river yeah and look at this drop off now <laughs> you have to avoid our shadows but and our uh, heavy breathing and our heavy breathing the fellas spent a lot of time and money on making it where you could drive back and forth on your side by side of your four wheeler or even in a pickup truck you know by bringing rock and stuff to control the erosion but you're actually walking down and Jamie, the uh, for anyone who's going to talk about flooding, they have no idea yeah. how high the house is. It's the highest point along the river. It's never flooded. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you. It's the highest point in the county. In the county. But it's beautiful. And it's nice and wide here. It's a nice wide spot. I think we should take the drone up. Oh, I think that's a great idea. I brought the drone. Oh my goodness, prepare for takeoff. Try not to kill us. Drone trained. 
That's good stuff, babe. And so what we'll have to do is use one of the buildings. I always thought about this. One of the buildings would be more of the barn. Yeah. Type. Step back so it's not just my face in the video. Sorry. One of the buildings will be more of the barn building. And the other one will be more of the storage. Yeah. Um, he, if he already has electricity running to it, a generator, mm -hmm. there's gas, propane, there's a kitchenette, yeah. there's a has bathroom. A I'm gonna say it has a sink and a toilet, sink, which is great so news. It will already be set up to where we don't, when we come for our fun weekends, we're, we're gonna call them fun weekends. Yeah. At, fun weekends at Longhorn Lester's. Gonna, I should start a series. We're gonna camp? Fun, Fun weekends at Longhorn Lusters. We have a lot of work to do first. So the we property do. is not, it, it, listen to me. So here's what we, we ended up doing. And I hate to admit this, but we had this criteria. We settled. We didn't and, settle. We, we weighted things. Weighted? That's perfect. Because what happened was the beauty of the land, the shade trees, the, the potential of the land. The began non flooding. To, the non flooding. Just the, the potential of the of, of it's close enough to drive to easily daily. Um, you could spend a weekend here because it does have power, it does have running water, and just how beautiful I just love the beauty of it. And I can't wait just to see Tex and friends just walking up the hills, mm, yes. mouths through the ground. It truly does exemplify what I would imagine a TV show called Longhorn Lusters. This is what I would Im imagine a place just like this. It is beautiful. And it's quiet. And it is, it's pretty serene. It's, it's nice. It's nice. And we're blessed to have found it. I agree. And the owners are really nice folks.